All right, this is your man, 93 Sports News, back with another video. I'm just here to rebuttal uh, a video that I heard from the brother, Coach Sheldon Harrison. Excellent channel, by the way. Big ups to you, brother. Uh, basically, rebuttaling off his uh, video about Adrian Broner, and I co-signed and agree 1,000%. Uh, Adrian Broner, he's just the type of guy that just, I don't believe he's ever going to get it. He's never going to understand what it takes to... Uh, Succeed in his profession. I just I don't believe it no more. And you would think, like he said, like he will stay low and you know be on his grind and working on his craft and his, uh, his profession in boxing ring after the whole bowling alley incident that he dodged the bullet from. But nah, he's right back doing the same old stupid shit um, again. Now he was in on uh, Las Vegas uh, with uh, Floyd Mayweather. That's he was being seen uh, in a car riding with him. So he's out in Las Vegas. He's out uh, at the Mayweather gym training. And now he's uh, being accused by a uh, lady bartender of, I guess, choking her out, I guess. And um, I don't know if it's true or not. It's allegedly. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But if it's true, he, he, needs, to, he needs to do some time. He needs to. It's it's hard to say that it's sad to say, it, but he needs to learn a lesson because this man just does not get it. He needs that he needs that real true wake up call, man. And like he said, man, he, he he's very rude, he's arrogant, and he is an attention seeking whore. And let me just tell y'all this quick story about Adrian Broner. You know what I'm saying? This was after, uh, yeah, this is after the Marcos Maidana fight when he got his ass beat and embarrassed. All right, so I ran into Adrian Broner um, at a mall. This is at a Tyson's Mall out in Virginia. So I'm at the shoe place with my with my friends, you know, and, uh, my cousin. You know, we out here checking some shoes out. You know, I hear a little loud, you know, skirmish. You know, I thought it was a skirmish. I thought it was like some type of fight breaking out, but he was just like just people in the background just being loud. So I turned around, turned my back, and this. It's Adrian Broner. You know, he had a so he had the shades on. He had a tight shirt on, looking real, real pudgy looking. You know what I'm saying? Like he was eating good after he, after he um, lost him off Madonna. I don't know if he was depressed or he just just let himself. It looked like he just let himself go a little bit. It's not in shape. And it's true that Adrian Broner he does he does not stay in shape. Year round. That's why it's hard for him to make weight during fights. That's why he lost his. That's why in his last fight, he he lost his belt on the scale because he couldn't make weight. He's not disciplined in between fights. When I saw Adrian Broner at that mall, man, he looked anywhere between 180 and 190 pounds easily. I'm about six one, six two ish, about 180, 190 pounds. And he he looked he looked about my weight, but not in a good way. He he was out of shape. So you, you're not disciplined. And, the, and another thing, the sad thing is he was doing all this attention-seeking shit at the mall, and nobody even ran up to him. Nobody even, even, nobody even knew who the fuck really Adrian Broner was, except for me, I bet, in that whole store, at that whole mall. Everybody was just looking at him stupid, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, who the fuck are you trying to impress? Like, <laughs> But anyway, man, that's why, I mean, he, he's not disciplined in the ring. He can't. He struggles to make weight, you know. Did you got all these outside the ring issues? I just, I just believe, I'm sold that Adrian Broner is the type of dude that's just not gonna get it, man. Yeah, it's just my quick uh, response video to the brother Coach Sheldon Harrison. Uh, shout out to your brother, great uh, video, great channel. This your man, 93 Sports News. I'm gone. Peace.